It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just I'm not so sure it was her. Keep a lookout. All yours. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. Madame Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. It's a lie. Come again, you little bastard! I want you out of my house! Sterile. They weren't my parents. But then what were you to them? A child that they decided to imprison. She deserved whatever Comstock did to her. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um... I don't know. But I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion.
this place have to do with my mom? Appreciate it. combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry at her and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've asked Lutessa about the matter, but even she refuses to help. <laughs> 